Oh, amen, amen. We serve a God who doesn't stay at a distance and demand praise. We serve a God who comes intimately close to us. And so it's out of that love that we get to give that praise back. Amen. It is good, good news. Welcome to Woodland Hills. We're so glad that you decided to join us this morning. Um, it is officially summer. I don't know if you know that. We made it out of the dreaded winter experience that is Minnesota. So before you grab a seat, uh, find somebody you don't know, learn a name, and maybe ask them, what's one thing you have to do this summer? Then you can grab a seat. That was awesome. Hi. I'd been a Christian for years, and when I came to Woodland Hills, there's this little thing that they say, we want you to have a meaningful baptism experience. Well, I knew that I hadn't had that. And I went, okay, when you put me down, just leave me down until I give you the signal and bring me back up. And so as I went back down, I just imagined all of the garbage, all of the sin, all of the terrible things I've done just coming out of me and dumping into the water. And when I came back up, they were singing this old song that talks about, I'm trading my sorrows, I'm trading my shame, and just saying, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And it was, it was the amazing song for me at that time in my life. And it was just, my experience of my baptism was so much more than checking something off on a list. The Lord just really met me there. My baptism experience is when I was 12 years old. A pastor brought me into the water. I was, I felt like something different was gonna happen. I didn't have any idea what it was. And as he lowered me down to the water, I had an experience of something had changed inside of me. And I couldn't really describe it at 12 what it was, but when I came out of the water, something felt different, something felt new, something felt like I had something um, that other people had talked about, and I had finally experienced it. My wife, Kim, became a Christ disciple in the uh, early 90s. She had not been baptized as a child, and, uh, and she did not get baptized when she accepted Christ in, in the early 90s. So we were at my parents' cabin, up north there and we decided we would set the alarm for 6 a.m. and get out there and I would give her the dunking. We read some scriptures, we sang a worship song and I uh, put her down in the water and brought her back up and, uh, and we kissed and it was a very joyful moment for us both. I was nine years old when I was baptized and the cool thing about being baptized at nine years old is that your imagination is like on fire at that time in your life. I remember the day of baptism. It was pretty cool. It was a summer day, um, and it was, I remember it being really sunny outside. For me, it was like God is like shining extra bright on this day because I'm about to get baptized. One by one, each of us were dunked in the water and came up anew. And in my head, I thought of it as going down as Sharice, you know, regular old Sharice, but coming up this bright and shiny Sharice. Like there would literally be light around me in my nine-year-old mind. <laughs> it was an incredible experience that I think will always stay with me, obviously. I'm still thinking about it later in life. And it was a powerful time. Um, and I know at that moment, I had never been more sure of anything in my life. And I still feel that way today. Ah, oh, isn't that good? Isn't that good to hear? I wonder if we had time to go around this room what the baptism stories are here. And one of the things that we believe here at Woodland Hills is that baptism is not just a, well, something maybe you can do, but that it is part of what it means to be 
welcomed into this covenant with God. And so we want to invite any who are here, if you have never had this opportunity to be a part of a baptism, we are going to have our summer baptism July 21st. Uh, if you are at all interested in that, we would highly encourage you to look into it. We do have a couple classes we would love for you to uh, sit in on just to get a sense of kind of what baptism's all about. So those are July 7, 14, and 21 uh, during the 11 o'clock service. So if you have questions about that, stop by the hello desk. They would love to tell you more about it. So um, I am going to invite our ushers to come forward. And uh, while they come forward, would you pray with me over our offering? God, we honor you because all that we have comes from you. That uh, in all the ways where we try and take ownership over our own lives and all the ways that we think that we've earned it, uh, God, we just once again open our hands and say it's all yours. So God, would you give us open hands with the resources that you have entrusted to us? God, would you um, spur in our hearts how to be giving, how to be caring for the needs of this church, this ministry, and the people that are here? And God, we pray that your kingdom would come through the work of Woodland Hills Church. Amen. Um, uh, if you are on the aisles, if you could grab one of those buckets, pass it on down, that would be fantastic. And while you're doing that, I just have pretty much one announcement. Uh, this last week, we had quite the party here at Woodland Hills uh, because Trout Lake Camp was here and we had about 100 kids that were hanging out doing inflatables, water sports, something... Uh, Somewhere in there they talked about Jesus, and there was all sorts of meaningful things happening. So we just wanted to let you guys know what a cool ministry this was, and it's just one of the many ways that this space gets used during the week to further the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. It's really good news, so uh, we're so glad that we got to host that. Uh, I, I hope we'll be doing it again, and if we are, keep your ears open and invite other kids to come. It's going to be a party. So uh, welcome, Greg. Uh, have a great morning. Thanks, David.